to my channel. My name is Abdullah Kamil and today I'm going to be talking to you about a very important concept and that is how to use custom formatting within a formula. So uh, let's start with a small number here and uh, to format a similar number like this, you know, you go normally to the uh, drop down menu here for number formatting and you change currency for example, okay? All right, so what if you would like to do this inside the formula without the need to uh, actually do it manually from the menu? Okay, so there is a function responsible of doing that, okay? And it can do it very efficiently. So that function is called text. And as you can see here, the text function converts a value, which means a number here, to text in a specific number format. So you specify what number format you would like the number to be displayed in. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the text function will ask you for a value and our value is actually here. The next thing is gonna ask you for is the number format that you would like this number to be displayed in. All right, so we know we would like this number to be currency. So we provide the currency label and the other formatting that you would like to use is the thousand separators so we put the um, number of placeholders here which is the hash and zeros and this is the thousand separator here and two hashes there just to represent a thousand and a zero at the end there just to take into account if the number is less than one we need the format you know to display a zero okay and also we need two zeros, you know, um, even if the number doesn't have a fraction, we need to see two zeros there so the numbers are uh, aligned correctly. All right, so once you finish your formatting, so you get the format that you need. If you attempt to change the format from the menu now, you cannot, even if you click it, it doesn't actually do anything, okay? Because you specify the format inside the formula, all right? Something else interesting that you uh, might have noticed here, that this number is aligned to the right, this number is aligned to the left. Now, the um, numbers in general, you know, even if no justification, uh, no alignment is, um, you know, um, uh, specified, Numbers are uh, by default aligned to the right and text is aligned to the left. So you can tell here that this is a number. This is a text. OK. All right. So um, let's go ahead and Im improve on this a little bit more. OK, so if we have, you know, a few random numbers. OK. And let's uh, assume that we would like to sum these numbers. Okay, so we use the sum function for all of those numbers. Okay, so now we get 178. Let's say we don't want anyone to tamper with the um, number format. So we would like to represent the number format or, uh, you know, force the number format inside the formula. So we come here at the beginning of uh, the sum function and we write text. And once we write text, it text needs a value and the value we provided is the sum function. Okay. So rather than providing a cell reference, we're giving it, you know, the uh, another function, a nested function. All right. And the format text that we'd like to use is the same thing we used before. So we have the thousand separator and sorry. Okay. Within quotation marks, it always has to be in a quotation mark. All right. And you can see here that we uh, force the uh, number format on the sum function here. All right. And this is really useful. Okay. Uh, something else that uh, the text function is, is really good at. Okay because the text function always change the number to text we can use that to reformat dates okay um, you should know by now that dates are um, stored in excel as um, serial numbers so the number one is actually represents 
1st of January 1900 okay so if you changed one to date you can see here but I can see it here as well I mean uh, number is one short date is 1 1 1900 okay so because dates are numbers in Excel what you can do you can change dates um, from numbers to text within a uh, with certain you know number format okay so let's pick a, uh, a random date <clears throat> okay and um, let's try and format this date here let's show it first as a uh, date so we see what it is it's actually July 10 2019 okay so if we would like to reformat this date we can use the text function and the value is our date okay so this is a number Excel sees it as a number and the number format we'd like to use sometimes you would like to use a um, you know something that you came up with okay so something that I would like to use always with dates you know is to uh, to show the day and then show the day and the month as uh, three letters and the year as full four numbers okay all within quotation marks once we specify that way Excel understand the format and it will show you as you can see here the day as three the day name as three letters here and you can see the rest of the format here as you specified it if you go from three these to four you will get the full name for the day so you get Wednesday uh, July uh, 10th okay and this is really useful and really good when you work with tables and you would like to show dates in a format that um, you know that you like to use okay all right okay so let's move on and see how we can use this um, to enhance uh, charts okay so let's go ahead and see if we would like to do a um, donut charts for these numbers here okay so we get this donut charts okay uh, donut charts it's really good if you have the total number here the sum of all those numbers if you have it in the middle okay so there's no way of doing it uh, with uh, the Excel features so you need to go around it so the way to do that is you can go to insert go to shapes select the shape there like this one rectangular okay and with the rectangular selected go to the formula bar there and it can accept a cell reference and we know that the sum of all those numbers is here okay so yeah but remember it um, you know it can only accept a cell reference it cannot accept anything else you cannot write a function here uh, like sum or you know okay and as you can see here the number is already showing okay so let's align it correctly and let's go ahead and remove the fill and remove the outline as well okay all right and let's make this a little bit just a little bit bigger okay all right okay so uh, let's say we would like to add the word total to this number you cannot add it here because uh, the rectangular shape will only accept a cell reference but rather than doing that you can go to the cell itself where uh, you calculated the total and reformatted the number and just go at the beginning of the uh, formula and write between quotation mark total and then space and close the quotation mark and add the number sand and hit enter and you can see immediately that the total 
word here um, is showing in the uh, donut chart now and it really makes the chart much easier to look at and really uh, really good okay so this is uh, some of the stuff you can do with the text function and how to manipulate text and how you can combine two functions at the same time in the same formula uh, it is really useful when you have some you know number formatting in your head and you would like to use it in your function and you don't want anyone to tamper with it you don't want anyone to change it you know um, so this is where you can use the text function for I hope you like the video I hope you find it useful and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to uh, drop me a line and uh, thank you so much for watching see you next time